How you guys doing? Good. Good. How are you doing? I'm about to ask you the same question. How, how, are, how are you over the last 48 hours and the changes and everything? Um, obviously, you know, a lot, a lot's happened, you know, and I guess, I guess it's been 48 hours. It seems like longer than that. Um, but you know, it's, it's crazy. You know, I obviously, I'm going to start off saying I have a lot of respect for coach Rivera. Uh, he's the first person that gave me a job in the NFL back in 2011. Um, you know, I learned a lot from him in my time and, you know, I, unfortunately, uh, I've been a part of this, uh, not necessarily in the season, but, you know, a few times and, if you coach long enough, you're going to be a part of this. Um, you know, it's an unfortunate part of the business, uh, but right now, you know, we got a, we got a game to play on Sunday versus Atlanta versus a tough opponent, obviously, um, based on our last game, and we got to get ready to go. What's this mean for you? I mean, is this, you consider this an audition for your future, or, or how do you look at it? You know, I'm trying to take this as a, uh, one game at a time. You know, I'm trying to do anything in my power to get us to go out there and uh, score points and gain yards and eventually ultimately beat Atlanta. I mean, that's, you know, that's my job. Um, and I'm going to do the best I can at it. And then whatever happens, happens after that. So how much, uh, I guess fans are wondering how much different will it be? I mean, I, I, you're, you're so late in the season, everything's in, I guess. But, you know, how much different will things be on Sunday? You know, I'm not going to get into the specifics um, on what our game plan is going to be versus the Falcons. Obviously, I'm my, my own person. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, what the scheme is or whatever or what you're thinking. You know, my brain is works differently. And, you know, you got 40 seconds to make a play call. So, you know, the way I think is going to be different than, um, you know, different than my dad's. Setting the mood. Uh, obviously, this isn't the way I wanted this opportunity to come. But how big an opportunity is this to get a chance to call plays for the first time? Uh, you know, it is a it is a big opportunity. I'm very grateful um, to be able to have it. Um, you know, I haven't really tried to think too much about that at this point. I'm really just focused on doing whatever I can to help us be successful versus Atlanta. What type of advice, if any, have you received from others as you approach these next four games? People just told me to be myself. You know, uh, I've, I've worked with a lot of different coaches, received a lot of different text messages from different people, people that have, you know, done this themselves. And uh, people just said, you know, go be yourself, you know, be yourself. You've been around this game, you know, you know, this game, whatever, and basically call what you think is going to work. Is it hard to be yourself, Scott, when, when you're linked to your dad and your uncle? I mean, is it's and never I, hard. It's never hard for me to be myself. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. How, how nice is it to have him here, though, to kind of to help you with these next four games? It's, I mean, it's land. no, it's uh, it's been awesome. I mean, you know, my dad's the best, and yeah, I wouldn't couldn't have it any other way. Scott, is there it times when you were uh, watching the game and thinking to yourself, "Well, I've got the perfect play call in my mind." No, I think you always do that. Like, I think you always just think, "What would you kill?" Now, you gotta understand, I've been calling the play into the quarterback, so it goes through me every single time. So, like, there's not a lot of time to think, you know. But at the same time, I mean, you know, yeah, you're thinking of different things, and and it, it's not about this is right or wrong or different because there's a lot of there's a lot of variables involved in football. I think everybody knows that. Um, so, but yeah, you, you always kind of simulate that. Is this, in fact, the first time you will call plays, or have there been stretches of games where you've taken it over? No, it, I wouldn't say that. I mean, it's the first time that I'm calling the play and I can actually get into a rhythm. You know, in meetings, you know, there's things that we talk about, situations come up, you know, but as far as our operation, I don't want to get, you know, too much into the specifics of it. Um, but this will be the first time where I'm, I'm calling, you know, calling the offense. And understanding you're not going to reveal game plan, wouldn't ask you to, but just from kind of general speaking, is it, are there ways you can put your stamp on this, you know, you know even in midstream like this? I guess we'll see. You know, just I don't want to – I'm not just say that, but, you know, we'll, we'll see, you know, how it goes. I mean, I'm, I'm going to try – like I said, I'm going to try to do the best that I can to help us be successful in and, and whatever, and whatever, whatever way that is. Scott, with your dad still on staff, how are you using him this week? Are you, you know, and how would, you, how do you plan on using him during the game? Will he be in the booth and you'll be on the sideline? Kind of the same thing as far as the scheme and everything. I'm, I'm not, I don't want to get into too many uh, details as far as our operation, you know, and how we, how we function. Can you at least say, sort of, mechanically, obviously, well, I'm, I'm assuming stay, you'll I'm, be up. I'm going to stay on the sideline, uh, and I'll have the direct communication to the quarterback. So that, that part of it won't change. Uh, you know, ever since, you know, basically 2014, obviously I took a year off, I was in Michigan, but the, all the time that I've been on the sideline. So I'm comfortable down there. My communication with Kyle is good. 
um, down there. I'd like to be able to speak, speak directly to him. So I'm going to I'm going to stay down there. Uh, call the place. Was any of this? I mean, is any of this strange? It's not too often that the son is replacing his dad. Yeah, I don't know if it's ever happened. Um, but it, like I said, it's a very unique situation. Um, but it is what it is, and I, you know, got to be ready to to embrace it. Do you kind of appreciate sort of not to make too big of a thing of it, but it's sort of a nice gesture, altruistic gesture, either by Tepper or Perry or even your dad to to kind of give you this window. Yeah, I think um, kind of as I was saying earlier, I'm I'm grateful for the opportunity, you know, and uh, you know, not getting. I don't. I mean, whoever made the decision, they you know they thought that I deserved a chance, so I'm going to go try to make the most of it. What is your dad? What is a lot of talk this week about uh, modern, innovative approaches, analytics, things like that. Uh, are you? What's your thoughts on analytics, and how do you use it in terms of being an offensive play caller? I think um, a lot gets made of analytics. It's information. You know, it's it's different information that helps you make decisions. Um, there's a lot that goes into that. You know, I look at all those numbers um, because you know the win probability. You know, um, that's obviously what drives analytics. You know. Uh, when you get into it, a lot of it has to do with, you know, maintaining possession. There's a lot of things that have, that have to go into analytics. And you look at that, and then you factor that into your decision. Um, just to use an example and not to, in too much depth, a lot of times the analytics might say to do it, but it's like a 58% deal, right? Well, like, what happens in football is the sample size is really small, okay? Even, like, over the league and everything like that, according to, like, actual raw data. So, like, a 58% decision – well, you you only have one shot, so like forty two might be the other way. So sometimes you got to know based on the situation to to choose the other side to be right. You know what I mean? So like, but knowing the knowing the number is very important, and then how you use it, I think, is is where you get the you know, I guess the best out of it. How, is, how has your week changed this week, if if it has at all? I mean. Well, or hours or uh, I mean, hours have got hours are the same. I mean, I'm basically here all the time. And uh, the you know, I'm just doing more as far as just the overall organization, the, you know, what we're doing in practice, putting, you know, putting the game plan and just being the person that's, that's totally overseeing all of it. Hey, Zach, was, this is kind of a weird, weird question, yeah, but um, I'm wondering if you can remember uh, and maybe if you need to follow up later, that's all right, too. Um, it, can you remember the first successful scoring play call that you ever called can you remember what it was and how it felt it's, uh no i mean i i can't even spe spe uh, specifically get into that again i mean no not no, I could, just yeah really no <laughs> scott what, what was i'm just curious what was your dad's reaction what advice is he what does he talk to you about you know? he um you know he just said you know when they brought it up i said hey you know is this okay with you? And he said, yeah, this is great. You know, and then he said, hey, you, same thing that the advice I got, I, like I said, l from pretty much everybody, just go be yourself. You know, go be yourself and do what you think's right, and we'll go. Any thought at all to taking a look at Will Greer at some point, if not this week, then another week? You know, we're, we're Kyle's our quarterback right now. We're going to get him ready to play. I mean, Kyle and Will are both very good, young, developing quarterbacks. Um, you know, with anybody that's young and made 11 starts, there's going to be ups and downs. But, you know, we're not going to just, you know, you know, we've evaluated him over a long period of time, and we feel good about Kyle. And, you know, he's, he's earned the right to, to play, and we're, he's going to continue to play.